Hi, welcome to Bark Heart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about The West Passage by Jared Pekacek. The West Passage is a medieval-inspired fantasy drawn from the marginalia of illustrated and illuminated manuscripts and the hellish surrealisms of Hieronymus Bosch. It's a book of gothic architecture in a crumbling palace the size of a country. It's a fantasy where uh, all of the action is walking along a hallway and everything's really weird and wonderful. There are catechisms and women in gray wearing their wimples and gender that is determined by the job that you do and the name that you have that changes when you step into a role. It's thoughtful and strange and it wraps all around you and it had me, you know, sitting on my bed, kicking my heels, uh, doodling Mr. Elias West passage in the margins of my algebra book. It's a book. Oh, if you are a fan of the things that we do here on Barkhart Bookshelf, books like The Spear Cuts Through Water or uh, The Saint of Bright Doors, things that are weird with like the goo and slime of leech and the like strange eldritch beings of the dead take the A-train. If this is just like, it's it hits right in that confluence of so many of the things that I love. And did I mention, it's illustrated. It's illustrated by the author. Every chapter, every section has a wonderful illustration inspired by the uh, insular manuscripts like the Book of Kells or later um, scholiastic medieval manuscript illumination and illustration traditions. It's just... <laughs> It's a book that everyone who loves Barkhart Bookshelf should be reading. Uh, it's a book that is going to just envelop you and show you some strange things and leave you thinking and also just entranced. It's a book that left me entranced. Just truly lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, and thoughtful, and beautiful, and weird, and there are too many limbs, and too many eyes, and uh, too many heads like birds, and eyes that glint out from faces that are towers, and everything all together in this sort of grand ecrisis and journey as a beast rises up from the depths of the earth to threaten the sanctity of the palace. It's a time of upheaval in a place that reinforces every tradition, that subsumes every change into itself, that has trouble with ossification and with change and with dealing with change uh, and in the the best sort of way possible it's lyrical it's arch it's funny it's serious it's it's a book and man oh man i am so pleased to get to talk about it with all of y'all today and so of course we had to have a drink uh for the west passage our drink today is the unnamed lady named for the now lost unnamed lady of gray tower where we begin and end our narrative uh, and it uh, starts with two ounces of Eau de Genevere. so this is a malt based gin uh, made in the netherlands uh, should be available pretty widely um, and certainly, if you have to do a little work to hunt it down, is worth doing. It's malty, it's dark, it's still going to have those herbal qualities that we associate with a gin, but with 
some really nice depth and uh, in a way that feels uh, pleasantly archaic. It feels of a um, medieval and otherworldly tradition with that sort of rich, uh, multi, not quite umami, but uh, bready quality, if you will. And then to our two ounces of the Eau de Genevere, we are going to add three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. This is a rich honey syrup made with two parts honey to one part water by volume. So uh, one cup of honey and then half a cup of water and shaken to combine. That just makes it so that we have all of the richness of that honey flavor and uh, we have it in a state that's considerably more pourable than honey straight from the jar. We're going to get that in there. It is a recurring element of the West Passage to have encounters with beekeepers uh, and their hives who are like these stag-like creatures with like beehives for heads. Uh, like I said, it's a wild one, and there are these strange and uncanny creatures, and honey from different eras that has different uh, strange and magical properties. A uh, miraculous substance called Mellified Man as a miracle cure, a panacea, uh, which is made by a man eating and drinking nothing but honey until he sweats honey and everything is honey. He's just honeyed through and through and then sacrificing himself to be pickled in honey. It's a very rare thing because not many people are going to volunteer to become a mellified man. This miraculous sort of substance in the long tradition of using strange medicinal substances uh, you know, this long tradition of mummified remains being incorporated into medicines and things like that. Just really uh, deliciously earthy and at the same time ethereal and uh, angelic, rooted in the world and reaching towards the stars. And then we're going to get a quarter of an ounce of elderflower syrup is going to add just a touch of florality. We see a lot of characters in the West Passage from the mysterious ladies who rule the palace right down to the uh, offices and people who run the place, taking their names from uh, botanical elements. Um, Hawthorne and Yarrow are two of our lead characters here. We also have um, ladies of, of various sorts and um, people, you know, people who have their work and their role defined in their name and their gender defined in their name as well. And so to that, we will add our ice, get it cold. Winter is coming early and out of season in the Grey Tower, one of these heralds of the arrival of the terrible beast things are uh, out of step with their proper order. This sort of uh, fear that will be reminiscent to climate anxieties and uh, you know, worries of that nature, the idea that the world is not operating in the way that it should be, and that uh, there are ways that we can intercede with higher powers. Uh, to try and correct the world if we're just willing to make the journey and finding that uh, things are complicated along the way. Give that a nice good stir until the level of the liquid is sort of at the same level as the ice. We want that equilibrium, that balance. Get our handy dandy julep strainer and strain into a stemmed cocktail glass. Perfect. And there you go. There you have it. This is The Unnamed Lady, inspired by The West Passage by Jared Pekacek. The West Passage is available now. It's going to be one of my favorite books this year. I know it. It's going to just blow your mind. If you haven't checked it out yet, I really encourage you to do so. I think you're going to love it as I have. 
it's just truly a, a remarkable book, one that I'm going to be thinking about for a long time. And I've got a link to snag it in the description down below. Got links to various forms of social media, including Twitter, Instagram, and Blue Sky, where there's always a written version of today's recipe. Also have a link to pre-order my book, Cocktails and Consoles, which will be out in September. It's 75 cocktails and mocktails inspired by the wide world of video games. Everything from Colossal Cave Adventure to Hades uh, was such a fun book to write, and I'm really excited to share it with all of y'all. Hit that like button. It makes me so very happy when you do. Comment down below if you've read The West Passage. Uh, it's a book that I'm really eager to be talking about. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you never miss an episode, because we have got some really great books coming out to talk to all of y'all about in the weeks and months to come. And so, until next time, cheers! <laughs>